Hey guys, what's going on? Squeezy Lemons here, and welcome back to my second Wi-Fi battle here. So I kind of switched up the team here for this next one. I'm not using my uh, Kanto team that I used for the uh, Kanto Classic tournament, but instead I kind of used a team that I uh, kind of made myself, kind of like mixed it up, mixed and matched here with a lot of Pokemon that I like. So we have a Imposter Ditto, a Protean Greninja. Uh, Infernape, Aggron, Torterra, and Apom. No Ambipom, because I don't really like Ambipom as much. I kind of like uh, Apom, just as it is. So we're going to go ahead and challenge and see how fast uh, it will take to find an opponent in this game. Sometimes it takes forever, sometimes it takes 10 seconds. So we'll see if it takes uh, 10 seconds here. So. Alright, so we're facing Shadow Sweep from California. It's nice that it's not a, a Japanese person because then I wouldn't know how, then I could type his name in easier easier in the title. So it looks like he only has uh, five Pokemon here, which is interesting. He's running a lot of uh, Oseros, can't tell the difference, kind of forgot. Uh, Relicanth, Tentacruel, Clafagrigus, and a Star Raptor. So we're going to go ahead and lead with our Imposter Ditto. And then... Uh, we'll go with Infernape, since he has a lot of, uh, since he has the fire weakness, and then Infernape can also use Grass Knot, so I'll take out the Relicanth and Tentacruel. And then just for, uh, safety, we'll go for Torterra. Actually, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the Greninja's Grass Knot as well. He does, indeed. So actually, I think we'll go with Ditto, Greninja, and Infernape, and see how well that goes. Although Torterra would probably be the better choice here, so if I just go with him. Always second guessing myself here. Just gotta play it safe if I wanna win the battle. Okay, so here we are. So he is issuing a challenge. So he's gonna send out Ten of Cruel, so that means you wish I need Ten of Cruel with that. And we're going to send out our shiny imposter Ditto. And uh, we're going to become a uh, shiny tentacool. So that's cool. Alright, so we're going to see what moves this bad boy has. So he has Ice Beam, Surf, Venus, Shirok, and Toxic Spikes. So let's go ahead and uh, Toxic Spikes. Because Ditto should be without speed. If not, you know, we'll just throw spikes on the field for him anyway. That'd be funny if he did the same thing and he threw spikes out as well quite interesting. See, he's going to withdraw, so that means he's going to send out Relicanth, and that means I'll get Toxic Spikes on the field. So that's a pretty smart move there, to go ahead and do that. Alright, so Spikes are all over his feet, then we're going to go ahead and Vino Shock him, hoping to get some poison damage here. And then I don't really see what he's going to do. Okay. Here we go, attack didn't really do that much, but trying to get poison. And he's going to go ahead and use Earthquake and have 4 health, but I should have a focus sash on the way. So let's go ahead and try an Ice Beam. I mean, why not, right? Okay, Ice Beam did nothing, so he's going to go ahead and use Earthquake again and it shouldn't do anything. Okay, I guess that doesn't matter since... Alright, Focus Ash doesn't matter at that point, so let's go ahead and just switch it to Torterra and end that. Because that is just an abomination. An abomination relicant. Okay, let's go ahead and use... Let's just go ahead and use Woodhammer and uh, see what that will do. So I have Woodhammer, uh, Synthesis, Earthquake, and then something else. He's going to go and switch, which is an obvious move. He's going to send out Tentacruel, but he's still going to get damaged by this out of the way, so... The poison Spikes did disappear, so that really did nothing for him at all. And then that did about half of his health, and I'm damaged by the recoil, so... This is getting interesting. But uh, we have leftovers, and then he uses Black Sludge to regain some health, so let's go ahead and use... Oh, almost hit Stealth Rock there. Alright, we want Wood Hammer. He's gonna go ahead and use that Ice Beam to uh, KO me, but. Ooh, that's not good. Alright, let's Wood Hammer. 
All right, there we go. We got him. We barely got him. I did not think I was gonna. Oh my goodness. Thank you, leftovers. Man, Torterra, you're just the boss right now, man. Sticking in there with two health. Now you have 14. Tentacruel's down, so it's a 1v1. So, he's sending out the Latios. He's sending it out. Let's go ahead and use that Earthquake. Might as well, because we got nothing else to do. He's going to go ahead and use Side, side Shot, because he outspeeds. we got to get that Fernape in there and get that close combat. See how much that does. Alright, and Fernape, it's up to you. Please don't be a loss. This can be a win. Alright. Let's go ahead and use that close combat. Please just one hit him. Oh, I got did about half health there. So hopefully Inferno can withstand the next attack and hopefully close combat can uh, take down Latios. Hopefully he can withstand the side shock. I doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, so that was the end of that battle, a whole like six minutes. So that was nice. So we lost against Shadow Sweep. But the battle I did like earlier, like three uh, minutes ago before I started recording this, we did win against the Japanese fellow, but he did forfeit, so I don't want to really show those. So Yeah, so that was about it with uh, this battle. So if you uh, did enjoy this battle, then click the like button down below and do not forget to subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles and uh, Twitter and Facebook links are in the description down below and I'll see you guys on the next Wi-Fi battle. See you guys later. Bye.